in today's drone talk, we're going to talk about the perks and pitfalls of drone photographers' lifestyle. Oh boy, so that's going to be a real trip. What do you expect trip. when becoming a drone photo? What do you What do you think about it? What do I think about that? Yeah. What What are the pitfalls of what you're What you're doing? Things that people may or should consider when deciding whether to, you know, take up a drone photography lifestyle or a career or get uh, mm-hmm. it, get into the drones. What are the things that are just maybe a little strange? Or the let's start with the pitfalls. There, we'll start with okay. the bad, then we'll get to the good. Okay. Okay. So uh, I would say um, not having enough money saved up. Most people will find themselves in that situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like you gotta have a lot of money saved up, and depending I, on how you want to go about it. Though. Yeah. So one of the lifestyle adjustments would be actually you may not you may there may be an adjustment to your salary. Maybe mm-hmm. it's more. Maybe it's more money. It's you don't know. But then what you're currently making. But uh, it's really about the lifestyle adjustments. Right. You know and schedule. It's, Sometimes, sometimes that means that you, yeah, you're going to being a, you know, maybe from a, a job, you know, where you're salaried or mm-hmm. maybe some other gig into something that's really gig based in most cases. Mm-hmm. And um, so you're combining a job of a freelance artist with a, a small business owner. Yeah. And which is an I interesting think, combination. Yeah. And I think that's one of the pitfalls that. It's it, it may be rewarding, but this is one of those things, one of one of those risks. Risks, I would say. Yeah, yeah. The biggest risk that you're taking is the the adjustment is hey, it's all you. You're you know, especially if you're a freelancer, mm-hmm. even if you if you if you have you know maybe one or two partners, uh, it's still all mm-hmm. relies on you. So you're even well, you're even the salesperson. You are the the photographer. You are the editor. You are usually everything if you're just mm-hmm. starting. Um, again, that may not apply to all the cases, but that's one of the adjustments. Well, I kind of find that when I when I stepped into it and decided to do this full time, and this was a bunch of years ago, mm-hmm. but um, that was that was one of the things that I always like when people asked me, "What is it to be a drone photographer?" And my answer that I I came up after a while was, "Well, imagine being a freelance artist <laughs> and a small <laughs> business owner at yeah. the same time," and that's 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 probably the the biggest adjustment to the mm-hmm. lifestyle itself. It was a no. difficult adjustment for me because I yeah. would say that I'm I lean more towards the art side of things. Yeah, and I'm not a very organized person. Yeah, naturally. Yeah, so I have to fight all, a lot of. <laughs> it's an uphill battle. Fascinator. Aside from the art side of things, in order mm-hmm. to actually run the business itself, yeah. that's very hard to learn. Yeah, especially when you're a one man band. Yeah. Totally. Very hard. Totally. Totally. If you have some business experience mm-hmm. from, you know, whatever your whatever wherever your life path took you before, then right. it may be a little bit a little bit easier. But Not mine. Yeah, but <laughs> totally. You're you're learning a, a whole new skill set beyond mm-hmm. just flying drones. Oh, absolutely. Sales, accounting. That's only yeah. a sliver. That's only a tiny <laughs> a, a lot of editing and then you mostly you'll get to fly for like twenty minutes a day. Mm-hmm. So it's not, yeah. That's that's another another thing that I don't think many people uh, just come into this with an idea that they'll just spend their days flying all the time. Some I people did. do. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but I got know, sucked in. But that doesn't mean we we do what most people do. Actually, right. I hope most people don't do what we do. No. But, but uh, I think getting into this, you're thinking, oh, I'm just gonna spend my days, you know, flying drones. No, no. Nope. <laughs> You're gonna spend your days driving mm-hmm. uh, and sitting by your computer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and then you'll fly like an hour a day, maybe. Most of my life <laughs> now, on top of everything else, is, yeah. is built around keeping batteries charged. Yes, on everything. My phone, <laughs> iPad. But it's everybody's life. Yeah. Soon enough, it'll be your car too. Even more so for a drone pilot, though. Yeah. I think no. I have like 25 batteries. <laughs> I was I seriously, Pete, I charged yeah. all the batteries that I own one day yeah. and it just took away so much stress. You are making a great point <laughs> here, though. Uh, you know what? One, one of the pitfalls is we do not travel light. No. No. You always, you find yourself dragging cases mm-hmm. of batteries and equipment and generators and God knows what else do you need, you know, into the most impossible places, like up the ski slopes. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I show up a 
at the airport going on a job somewhere everybody's looking at me like mm-hmm. what are you trying to do here yeah because <laughs> it's all big you know the black right, go right. professional or the, the pelican cases and it's not pretty we don't we don't travel light no yeah. and san francisco airport's the worst place for that yeah that, that is, is such a long trek i think at the airport i think <laughs> at the airport it doesn't I don't think it really matters. <laughs> oh, all right, it just never. go to San Francisco. So a lifestyle, a lifestyle adjustment, <laughs> yeah. a lifestyle adjustment is um, mm-hmm. you know you you don't travel light. No, not at business all. With the big gear, so you have to pay okay. more for your baggage. What, and... what else can we say to scare all these people? Um, weird places. La- oh, weird places. Oh, because yeah. you know a, a lot. I, I I think that when we're just like starting in the, at least when i was starting in drones you know 15 years ago mm-hmm. i'm kidding that, that, a little while ago. ago i'm like yeah yeah <laughs> it's <laughs> uh, you know whenever wherever you were you could pretty much fly wherever you wanted and get away with it mm-hmm. the worst would happen people would show up and they would ask what it thing is and be mesmerized mm-hmm. by it, just like plain mesmerized it's got a camera on it now it's more like oh is that you're more likely to run you run into a lot of people that are still enthusiastic about it mm-hmm. but you also run into a lot of people that are like oh is that one of those drones does it have a camera on it mm-hmm. are you spying on somebody yeah right? yeah so what well, i think what that forces us to you know it kind of forces us to lurk in shadows a little bit because you mm-hmm. You're gonna. The perk is you're gonna get to see a lot of nice places, and we'll talk about it a little later. But mm-hmm. I think the pitfall is that you you may find yourself places where probably no person should go alone unarmed Absolutely. at the times when you know it's it's not the most convenient because you got to find a good spots right if you even if you want to shoot some night stuff or maybe mm-hmm. you want to get a sunrise and you want to set up you may find yourself in parks or you know different quarters different neighborhoods that may not be mm-hmm. the safest ones i just i just had a <laughs> shoot actually last week in i'm not gonna say what city but it was a city and it was a sunrise, it was a morning shoot. And I show up, it's still dark. And all I, I'm looking around and there's a whole bunch of needles, just like the whole place is oh like no. along the curb. Because <laughs> the snow banks melted and I guess this was like a, a, a popular hangout, seemed to have been a popular yeah. hangout for that kind of activity. Yeah. So I start flying and this white van, this like panel van shows up, this like old Ford van and just goes like, drives a little further down the road and just parks like at the end, turns around and it's just like watching. But they're Weird. like turned away from the view. They're like looking at me. So I'm like, oh, wow. You know, maybe yeah. I'll just film myself being robbed off my drone on my drone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That'd be a new one. So I, I I think we're sometimes forced into the places where it's not like always the best idea to be yeah. at, at some times. No, I, I had a shoot in New York City and I had to yeah. run down a really scary alleyway, cross some train tracks. Yeah. And then I ended up finding a construction company that yeah. was open <laughs> Luckily, and I just marched in there. Like, hey, uh, yeah, yeah, here, yeah. I'm a drone pilot. Can I use your back lot for a minute? <laughs> and they like, you know, gave me the evil eye the whole time. Like, yeah. where are you? Who the heck are you? What's your business card? Let me see this. <laughs> it's sketchy. And you get, you get the thing up in the air, take your yeah, shots, pe- and get out. Yeah, people become suspicious of you. So you do have to be a good, good kind of negotiator. Mm-hmm. You have to, you know, have some skin, be assertive enough, but not, just not be afraid to, to ask and talk right. to people. Yeah, I, I think another thing is you, you travel a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, too. So it's a lot of driving. You depend on the weather, on the the yeah. weather, the and weather. Which in in some parts, depending where you are, uh, may be a problem or may not. We're in New England, mm-hmm. and the weather changes. You know what they say: if you don't like the weather, wait, wait. for wait five minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's more like two minutes. It changes all the time. So yeah. when you're when you're setting up shoots, you constantly find yourself, you know, like trying to move around the schedule because now someone needs to reschedule and that conflicts with something else. So you're, you can, there are things that you can schedule, like your editing time, your appointments, blah, blah, blah. But mm-hmm. there are definitely things that you, you are just at the mercy of weather. I mean, you're combining aviation and photography in mm-hmm. New, in New England in our case. So what do you, what do you expect <laughs> will, will, will happen? And I think that's true for many places. Um, Except of California, it's always yeah. sunny in California. It's right? always sunny in California yeah. and Philadelphia. And, and, oh, and Philadelphia, the European here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Philadelphia once, and it wasn't sunny at all. I think that whole thing is overrated. Actually, I've been to California, and it was sunny. California, all the time. San Francisco sunrise and sunset was so, the best one I've ever seen. You know what? Contrary to popular culture, my experience is that it's always <laughs> sunny in California. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is. All right. So, yeah. but that's that's the pitfalls, right? What about some advantages? Advantages. What do you like about being a drone photographer? Uh, that I don't have to go to the same place every single day. Yeah. So it's like a different. So I have a variety. Yeah. So that's so the travel aspect there is actually a good thing. Yeah. So I get to go to all different kinds of places. Yep. Meet new people that I probably would never have met my entire life. And see things Ooh. that I would probably never see in person. Yeah. I would just add one thing and get to fly your RCs in the places where most right. people don't get to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of those bizarre places. Yeah, it's the same thing for me. It's the it's the variety um, um, I, I, that, like, stimulates me. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Yeah. No, it, for and me too. I, I just, for some reason, enjoy that. I don't mind the drive. I enjoy the variety. The places that you get to see, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. You've been to TV, like, places I would never, like, dream of never. being like you would never have a business being there you know different like tv studios and and behind the scenes of, right. of various venues and you, some incredible nature you know places and you get to appreciate it i think you're we have in new england haha we have mm-hmm. the seasons right so you're much more in touch in with what's happening with the nature too sure. because you notice things and this right, is not just right. drone photographers this is all photographers uh, i mean if you're into landscape photography then you probably do uh, Thing about like, hey, what's the best? What's best to shoot in what season? And that's a whole separate mm-hmm. segment, probably. But I, I think you're right. It's about discovering different places, being places you would never really have a reason being before, and meeting some some really really cool people. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, what other perks? That's it. Mm, pays <laughs> pretty well. The pay is great. Pays a lot gonna better be, than anything I've done you're gonna before. Be, you're going to be rolling in dough. <laughs> Not for a while. Well, it, not for a while, but if you're good at it and if you work yeah. on your skill and if you persevere, it's just like with everything else. You know what they say? Oh, there's too many drone pilots. Well, guess what? There's too many fast food restaurants too, and some do better yeah. than others. Right. It, it, it's just it's I, I my argument always is it's it's about your skill, you know. And if you if you do care and if you if you persevere and if you try to be the best at what you do, you may have to add some good salesmanship too because you mm-hmm. do have to know how to sell it. But then you can be comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. What other perks? Uh, I came up with the last one, right? Your turn. <laughs> I'm asking you. I'm picking your brain. Oh, oh, you're asking me. Where are some perks? Uh, okay. Well, so we gotta make this seem like we gotta make people want to do this, so they listen to our podcast. <laughs> and so far, we said more pitfalls than perks. <laughs> That's so true. we actually have to. We actually have to. Uh, we actually have to make up for it. And this. The okay. alarm really Sorry. threw me yeah, off. Yeah, it threw me off too. That's okay. We'll have to <laughs> learn to to stop these things. Yeah. But um, perks. Why is it so hard to come up with a perk? We did a lot already. Yeah. The well, I mean, the, the travel the thing people. really encompasses a lot of what we do. That's about it. And it's just the satisfaction. You know what? Just like a pure. If you if you come back and you come back with some cute pictures, as I call them. Mm-hmm. And you do your editing, and you know you you did a great job, or you like tailed it this time. I think that's pretty mm-hmm. cool because you're creating something, and and whether you're you're putting it online or whether it's gonna yeah. be on a wall somewhere or on someone's Facebook wall, um, it's gonna live somewhere and it's gonna be there forever. I think that my I I've sold a few pieces, and mm-hmm. it doesn't. I sell on on Fine Art America, and we had some local sales too. It doesn't amount too much, mm-hmm. but I don't care. Even if it was one or two, you know, it's kind of cool to know that your 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 photography, your art is is hanging somewhere, making someone happy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do have some appreciation for that. I also like learning through osmosis, and y- y- you know, and it goes to the people that you interact with, really. You you get to hang out and you get to see many you get to meet many people from the industry whether it's a film right. industry news industry, and you get to you get to talk and experience and see how they do their things. So to me, every day at work, it's like an episode of how it's made. Mm-hmm. Only it's like your personal one. Yeah, you know, you, you can be shooting an industrial shoot in in a in a factory or in a plant. Uh, you know, and and we've had a lot of those, and you see you see things how how they put you know how they're being put together. We did like the Black Hawk assembly line, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I sadly, that's like one of those shots you don't get to keep. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they don't. Yeah. They won't let you let that out. But just to be there and see it, it's incredible. Yeah. And that's 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 what I. Um. Another like. another perk is especially for me personally. Yeah. Um. As a freelancer. Yep. Is just that I'm not I'm not subject to what other people tell me. 
Yep. You know, I mean, but I am I am because I have yeah. to deliver it to what the customers want. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's me. I'm not putting all my eggs in my yeah. employer's basket. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And it's so very you, fulfilling when I, you know, I get a nice a nice check from a job. I'm like, man, I <laughs> that was all me. It's that freedom and it's your business. So it's, yeah. it's it, it is a freedom. I say may not be the best money, but it's more no. than just that. There is more perks. And would yeah. I would I so here's a question for you, right? Would you do it again? Absolutely. Knowing what you know now. Absolutely. Yeah? Differently, yeah? but absolutely. Okay. So that was back then. Would you do it again now? Now? Yeah. In this environment. If I had more money to invest, yes. Okay, so some cushion is important mm-hmm. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, same can, thing. I think you can uh, definitely get started now. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you if you started from zero, you could still do it. Mm-hmm. I think I would have done a few things differently a little bit. Yeah. I've learned definitely a few lessons, but it's not like there was any textbook. No, you, know, you couldn't. Now they are maybe. Oh uh, no! Back then, there's, there's still the aren't business. any, at least that I would trust. Well, there is one at dronephotographypodcast. Oh right, yeah, yeah definitely yeah, trust yeah, ours. Totally. There is one. Trust that <laughs> one. <laughs> but um, you know, you kind of just learn as you went along. So obviously, if I knew what I know now, I, I would have probably you know done a few things differently. Definitely. Mm-hmm. If I was starting right now with the same amount of knowledge I had about photography back then. Ooh, that's a good question. Hmm. That is a really good question, actually. I, I would have bought. I, would, I don't know if I would. I would have started with a different drone. I, well, yeah, I mean, that's a given. <laughs> I started with a GoPro glued onto the, the yeah. FL450. Didn't even have a well, gimbal. What? But it's, it's um, well, right now it's easier to get your hands on a nice drone. Mm-hmm. But I think that, uh, I, I don't know, in a way... I've had to learn a lot about the photography and going back and like refining your process. And right. you're always learning. I'm not mm-hmm. done. I, I, I had to. I still have to. I, I think it's easier now. I think you, get, you can get your hands on some much yeah. nicer equipment that makes Absolutely. it easier. But in, in, in a way, it's a little more complex. So the learning curve immediately, you know, it's a little bit steeper than it was when mm-hmm. I started, I feel, because you just sure. didn't have all these options. and. Like it was, it was really too expensive to be flying anything with an SLR on. So it's not like you would get that as a hobby machine. M- most people didn't, mm-hmm. and um, so you were pretty limited in what your camera could do. Actually, you don't mm-hmm. have that now, but now you have so much more to learn just just from the get go. That mm-hmm. it's um, you uh, couldn't make adjustments to the camera to while it was in the air either, no. right? Set gets rolling. So you have to go. make your shots, come back, and then look at them. Yeah, it's funny when people were leaving. Remember, it was like a thing when they left the Wi-Fi control on on a GoPro, yeah. it would flood out the signal on the Phantoms <laughs> and make them fly away. I'm so, so glad that it doesn't happen a, anymore. It wasn't a good idea to attempt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, those are the pitfalls and the benefits or the perks of a drone photographer's lifestyle in a short. And uh, if you guys want to if you guys want to check out this segment and other segments, you can head over to dronephotographypodcast.com and look for Drone Talk. We have all our little drone chats uh, sorted in a nice little library. Oh, yeah. Yep.